this 75 inch diameter. We got a little uh, some wagering going on here on uh, how many man hours this will take. And I think what will be fun on this is to do a, uh, a little contest. And maybe you can win a t-shirt if you guess how many man hours it took to do this job. So we all clock in when we get here and we'll keep track of it. And it uh, might be a good little competition to have. So you can win a t-shirt of our new Game of Trees branding. You can see there's quite a bit of white rot in here. And here's a pretty big uh, situation. Yeah, I mean that piece couldn't have fallen in a better spot. There's Taylor. Hey Taylor. He's gonna be climbing. I'm going to be the wimpy guy. I'm going to go in the lift. So I think uh, I talked to this lady over here, uh, neighbor, and we're going to be able to come in right here with the lift. Right in here, we got a good landing zone all out in here. Uh, single story house, so that's great. We can take some pretty good rigs. I think we've got, you know, fairly decent integrity on this tree here. You know, the last thing you want is when you're taking down a tree to have it fall apart on you while you're taking it down. Um, but I think we still have good integrity. There's a lot of decay in there, but for the rigs that we'll make, uh, it should work pretty well. I think we got a good plan. Uh, put in your guesses on how many man hours you think this is gonna take. And uh, we'll see if someone can't win a t-shirt. All right. So we're gonna do a lift. You gotta put it around. One way is 12 to 1, the other way is 24 to 1 ratio. So we can get some mechanical advantage on our side. Slowly let it slide through his hands. So the branch will descend safely to the ground. Here we got our little uh, gypsy moth caterpillar. See the kind of blue dots followed by red dots down the back. 
lots of hair. Uh, on oak trees, when they start to get this size, they really start to eat. And uh, they, uh, they will defoliate a tree completely when they, uh, when they really get going. And for the eek factor, if you sit out on your patio at night, you can hear the, uh, the little droppings coming down like rain. <laughs> so there's all these little black dots all over your patio. Garage. So we want to make sure that this doesn't touch their house or their property. So Kevin made a little uh, notch facing towards us. And so when we lift it with our pulleys up there, it'll kind of come towards the notch and break away from their property nice and smoothly. Good job, Taylor. Good job, Kevin. Home, folks. Woo. So we've got uh, two slings, carabiners on both, and then that gives us uh, better control over the branch. Awesome. What's up guys? So hey, just pulled up to this job site. This is a little bit of drama on this job site. We had a call from another tree care company and my wife is one of the secretaries since so they called my wife and he was just like, I need to speak to Kevin, who's the owner of, of our company. And he's like, I need his personal cell phone number. And basically he's like, you know, like you guys are on our turf and you, you underbid us by like half the price. So anyways, he underbid this job, or overbid this job, I feel, by twice the price. I just went and took a look at it. Um, so basically, our company is charging about half the price as this other company is, and they're not very happy with us, and so they were all mad, and, you know, it's like crazy Arbor Care drama. So anyways, um, I'm, I can see the tree from here, and I think that we bid it just fine and I don't I think that we've got a giveaway going on in this video right now so I've got to talk to the owner Kevin but I think the idea was if you guys can guess the man hours on this job the person who guesses the closest or maybe you guess the closest to what our man man hours actually were so the person who guesses the closest is gonna win a free game of trees t-shirt and they're they're pretty rad shirts it's a pretty rad logo um, have you guys seen the logo yet here it is All right, a couple of guys from the crew showed up, and it is uh, pouring rain right now. Been fun. It's mint. <laughs> we got mint we got rain. Um, there is mosquitoes everywhere. This is like perfect for the mosquitoes. They they love this. Mosquitoes, rain. You know. So uh, looks like we're gonna get wet today. <laughs> we got uh, kind of a situation on our hands. Uh, three of us that are all the technical climbers are leaving tomorrow morning uh, for North Dakota for the 4th of July. And uh, we got this tree in process. It's kind of a hazardous tree. Uh, we're definitely not going to leave it here for the next storm. So we've got a persistent rain probably for most of the morning here. Uh, I don't see any lightning, so we're good there. But we're starting to move out some of the brush. And remember, we got a little contest going here on how many man hours this is going to take. These are the kinds of things, you know, you got to factor in sometimes. You don't always have pristine conditions. Uh, and so we're going to be uh, probably bringing in, converging the crews into this one location to make sure we get this done. Saws? What? Did you guys bring saws? Yeah. Where are they? Five, six, two, and uh... Like saws, like all our saws. <laughs> yeah. Just, you just throw two saws, right? The, I don't have any toolboxes on this truck I'm on, so I've got. 
got nothing. So you got a 562 though. Yes. That's what I need. In the so, I'll, I'll live with a 562. Huh? I'll live with the 562. Or you can live with the 395. Or I can live with the 395, yeah. Alright, we'll get her done. Yeah, most of the stuff in the back is cut up. Okay. So, I better go make a phone call. We got one guy left at the shop. <laughs> He'll have to bring a few saws. So, I just looked in the trucks. I, I'm driving a truck without a lot of toolboxes. So I just looked in the truck that came with me and there's one saw. It's got a 36 inch bar on it. And there's one saw in the back. And we got, you know, I needed two saws in the lift with me. But it looks like I'll be dealing with one saw on the lift. The 395 and a 562. We need some chainsaws here at this site. So whenever someone can arrive, that would be great. Save the day, Eli. I, it's what I do. Nice job. That's what I'm here for. Let's see. Gray. We got a Hamza Arbicare logo on the front, and we're gonna get the nice new uh, game of trees on the back here yet. So there you go. So we got a shirt giveaway on this video. We mean business, guys. Yeah. Whole box of shirts. Yeah. Hey, you probably. off to Eastside Tree Works, Jacob and all the gang out there in Seattle. Because you probably have a lot of days like this. This is, We usually take rain days on this, but today's special. So we're going to get her done.
important part here. We're down to the cable. There was a cable in this tree. The number one rule is never cut a cable under tension. You know, we could have that under tension and cut it and that whole lead could fall onto the house. That'd be a wonderful way to end a perfectly good job. So we've got a, a tie off be below that cable and we've taken the slack, we've created slack in the cable. So we can safely cut that. Then we can pull that heavy piece off the top and then where we're tied onto there, we can, we can then pull that over with our GRCS at the base. And, and by that time, we'll have enough weight off of that lead, we can safely say it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall over when we free it up. So we're almost down, we're down to the nitty gritty now. A Couple big cuts and we're done. Oh my gosh, there was squirrels in the tree. And so uh, a couple of them came flying out. And I don't know if I got any of the footage of it, but when the one like came flying past me and one landed on Kevin up in the tree and they came flying out and then there's babies in here. They're all okay. Yeah, I don't think we can see them. Can you see them? No. I can't see them, but I hear the babies like chirping in there. Um, so. Squirrel! Hopefully they're okay. I think they're gonna be all right. Oh, we're not gonna put that uh, log with the squirrels in the chipper. We're gonna leave that here. Um, let those squirrels find a new home before we take that log away.
Well, hey, there it is on the ground. That should bust apart when a loader hits it, but uh, yeah, so kind of two days out here with various guys. So good guesses on the man hours. Uh, we kind of staggered in and staggered out, so you probably saw more people than were here at any given time. We did another job not far from here in the morning with, with four guys, and then they swooped into here and uh, helped us out. So, uh, yeah, whew. Uh, the squirrels, the, the baby ones are still up in there, and the parents, one came out and hit my foot and flew away. Maybe that's on the video somewhere. But uh, these guys, they'll, they'll chirp tonight and their parents will come get them and they'll put them in a different home. So it's good we have to come back for the last residual wood. Those little guys can uh, stay with their folks. <laughs> but they're probably getting old enough that they kind of kick them out now anyway. So uh, it's a pretty good time. And nobody got hit by a saw. You know, sometimes, you know, it doesn't end that way. But uh, no one got hit by a saw. They were. They were dodging my saw, but they didn't get hit, so that's good news. All right, thanks everyone. Hey, remember to subscribe and like us, and uh, win a t-shirt.